Hello students, let's have an easy understanding of anion gap. What is anion gap? Generally, the concentration of cations must be equal to that of anions. What are the major measurable cations? Sodium and potassium. What are the major measurable anions? Chloride and bicarbonate. So, sodium plus potassium must be equal to chloride plus bicarbonate. But remember, we also have some unmeasurable anions like lactates, phosphates and sulfates. So, when you say sodium plus potassium is equal to chloride plus bicarbonate, we should also add these unmeasurable anions. So, chloride plus bicarbonate plus unmeasurable anions. But you can't measure them. So, in this formula, they leave a gap. That gap created by these unmeasurable anions is called anion gap. So, how would you calculate this anion gap? Simple, you take chloride and bicarbonate to the other side. So, anion gap is equal to sodium plus potassium minus chloride plus bicarbonate. The normal value of anion gap is 8 to 12 milliequivalents per liter. This is how easily we can calculate anion gap.